hello everyone welcome to part 63 of laravel 10 series in which we are first creating the e-commerce setting panel so we will continue working on the product attributes module and in this video we are going to display the product attributes in our add edit product form so in the last video we have seen that we able to add the product attributes multiple product attributes for our product uh, from the add edit product form and here we able to insert these product attributes in the product attributes table okay so now we are going to show these product attributes here okay so after adding uh, we are going to add uh, one more block here for showing the product attributes but before that we are going to create the relation between the product and its attributes so the one product can have the many attributes like in the case of images as well one product can have the multiple images now the one product can have the multiple attributes so we are going to add the relation uh here in the product model so i'm going to open the product model so like we have the images relation here we are going to create the same relation i'm just going to copy and will paste here here it will come like attributes so the attributes will come up here we are going to create the attributes relation uh, so attributes can is also has many relation is for the attributes so here instead of product image we are going to add here the products attribute okay so one product can have many attributes okay so so this attribute relation we are going to add in our added edit, edit product form uh, sorry in added product uh, function product controller and here in function i am going to include this one where we have also earlier included the images here so now we are going to use the array now actually the multiple are coming so that's why we need to use array so here the attributes will also come it like this okay so now we are going to debug it like this so the attributes will also come up it's like if you are going to edit any of the uh, product like uh, i'm i want to edit the same product that i have added uh, attributes uh, like i have added in the last time i can here click on here and we can click on edit and here you can see the attributes are coming here okay so attributes are coming here uh, like the images are coming attributes are also coming okay so now uh we're going to disable this one uh so now we are going to show these attributes in add edit product form in add edit product here we are going to show these attributes uh we are going to show uh, where we have added the product attributes there itself we are going to show okay uh so uh we are going to show either before this or after this it's your choice uh okay so we are going to show this one uh, before this okay so what i'm i'm going to copy this one and we'll paste here so here uh see this one i'm going to remove this one it's complete i'm going to remove here we are going to add the add product attributes add attributes here we are going to show the adder here we can name it like the adder attributes. adder attributes okay that are all already added so we are going to add one form here uh, one table here okay table and here we are going to add the tr and then the first one i am going to add the uh, heading row okay, with th Add here site SKU price stock actions. So after this TR, another TR I'm going to add, and that one is for the for each loop. Uh, we're going to add the for each loop inside this one. Then uh, TD we're going to add. Okay, like for ID uh, here we're going to add the for each loop. For each. So here we're going to take that dollar product attributes as dollar. Attribute. Okay. 
so inside this uh, we are going to insert all attributes and here we are going to add and for each so here uh, we are going to start with the attribute id one so after id size then sku then price then stock and uh, there is uh, this one we are going to left empty we are going to check once see how it is looking so these are the attributes okay added okay so there are some changes we are going to make some changes in table so that it will uh, look fine i'm going to give some background color and some spacing in table okay i'm going to give some background color uh, any background color i can give like uh, some specific color uh, like i can give this one as by color picker from color picker I'm going to pick some color that is uh, any color I can pick okay and after that uh, I will also give here width also I'm going to give 50% width and also cell padding I'm going to give here cell padding so that uh, it will look fine and now we are going to check here uh, no color is not correct color is not okay here i am going to pick color picker now it pick the same color So now it seems to be fine okay it seems to be better okay so now you can see the attributes here okay added attributes uh, we are going to show like this after adding the attributes we are going to show like this and after adding them uh, see price and stock uh, we are going to give the update option for both uh, price and stock and in actions uh, we are going to give the active inactive and delete icons we are going to insert here for the action so that we are going to do in the next video uh, we are going to uh, make it like that we can able to update these attributes uh, we can able to update the price and stock for all the attributes and also we are going to work on the delete and disable feature uh, but uh, if in case uh, the admin wants to update the all, everything in the attribute then the best option is to delete that attribute and add it again but if the admin only want to update the price and stock then he can able to update from here we are going to convert it to the test field okay so that thing we are going to do in the next video so stay tuned for the next video that's all for now have a nice time goodbye